Yeah, first I would like to thank South Carolina for hosting. Um, so far, we've only been here about a day, but they've done a great job. The field's excellent. The hospitality is awesome, and they're really doing a good job running a first-class event. So really would like to thank them. would also like to thank the SEC and ESPN for hosting this event. I think it's one of the premier softball events in the country. So um, we're just feeling really lucky to be here. I think it, it's great to see so many softball stadiums and to be able to play on ESPN with so many quality opponents. So we just feel really good about being here today. Questions? Uh, Nikki, what would your coaches tell you when you were going into that last at bat? Uh, honestly, they didn't tell me much. They, because I was seeing the ball the whole game, and they have confidence in me, and they're just like, all right, Nick, just square up. I mean, Coach Himes did tell me that I better make up for that play on the field. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but anyways, but I don't know. They just have confidence in me, and I feed off of their confidence a lot, so it's good. Uh, coach, like Kelsey threw uh, 142 pitches. Uh, is she going to be ready for the next game? Or, uh... Yeah, she'll be ready. You know, one of the things that we tried to do down the stretch is um, there were games that she didn't pitch, knowing that for the postseason that you would need to really, you know, ride the pitcher that's brought you here. So, you know, she's a strong girl. She's been working hard all year, so she'll be ready to go tomorrow. She's She'll be okay. Are you making any more adjustments tomorrow against Tennessee? Oh, we're gonna have to. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we hit what eight or nine people today, so we're gonna, we're definitely gonna have to make adjustments. Also, we have three other really good pitchers on our staff. So while Kelsey does get the bulk of the innings, I feel very confident. Um, we they well, we beat them one out of the three times, and we actually beat them with Lauren Cumbus and with uh, Megan Prince. So we definitely have the ability to beat them with somebody else on the mound. So we're going to see how Kelsey feels in the morning and, and uh, we'll make the decision if she's going to pitch just to see how, she, how sore she is. Uh, Christian, what was working so well today that made you so productive? Um, I think the, the most important thing for me is just to stay calm and don't put too much pressure on myself. When I go up there and I feel confident I'm doing a lot better than if I put so much pressure on myself. So I think that's the main thing right now and just swinging at good pitches in, in the zone. What did you tell the team um, in the sixth inning after you had had three, you were up three, and all of a sudden that was taken away? Well, I didn't say much. The one thing is I know when we were able to stop them, I knew that we would be in it. Kelsey does, and also Kelsey can keep us in the game when it when it's tight like that. So more than anything, I just told them they had to continue to play good defense. I knew that they would put, you know, uh, Mississippi State has some ungodly stat where in the fifth, sixth, and seventh inning, they have they have uh, probably doubled, more than doubled the m number of runs that their opponent has. So I've, I knew that going in. So it was important to me that we continue to play tough defense. And then because we were a home team that we'd be able to squeak a run at the end.